Hi, Steven Ziegels. We are starting our second week of virtual art class, and I thought it would be fun with spring finally here to learn how to draw a rabbit. Rabbits are cute little animals that you will see hopping around outside, and some people even have rabbits as pets. A few fascinating facts about rabbits include a female rabbit is called a doe, a male rabbit is called a buck, and a baby rabbit is called a kit or kitten. Rabbits live in groups called colonies in underground warrens or tunnels. The rabbits dig these tunnels themselves, and here is a picture of what they can look like. Before we get started on the drawing activity, I would like to show you some famous paintings that include rabbits. Here is a painting called A Hare in the Forest. By the way, another word for rabbit or bunny is hare, spelled H-A-R-E. This was painted in 1585 by a German artist named Hans Hoffmann. Look at how carefully he painted the rabbit's fur. It looks like it would be really soft to touch. Besides the rabbit, what other little creatures do you see in the painting? This next painting is called Still Life with Rabbits, also painted by a German artist named Johann George Seitz painted in 1870. This painting shows two rabbits having a feast on an abundance of different vegetables. Look at the amazing water droplets that the artist painted on the lettuce. And last but not least, here is a super famous rabbit painting done in 1502 by Elbrick Durer called Young Hare. It is very famous because of its extraordinary realistic depiction, meaning it looks very true to life, almost like a photograph. If you look very closely at the fur, you will see how it lays in different directions and how the fur is marked with lighter and darker patches all over. These details are very challenging for an artist to do, and Elbrick Durer did a great job accomplishing this. So to get started on this art project, find a piece of paper. It can be small or large. If you don't have paper, you can use the back of an envelope, the inside of a cereal box, or even a grocery bag. Grab something to draw with, such as a pencil, pen, crayon, or marker. I will separately post two videos on how to draw a rabbit. The first one I will call Beginner Rabbit. That one will be more for kindergarten, first, and second graders. The second one I will call Intermediate Rabbit, and that will be more for third, fourth, and fifth graders. Feel free to color if you'd like. And last but not least, I will post some extra videos on how to draw a rabbit by other art teachers that I have found on YouTube. Thanks.